Let's just face it, Warner Brothers is going to use that whenever they have the chance to. So we got the official first trailer for Wonder Woman. There was the one at Comic-Con. Warner Brothers is calling this one the official first trailer. It's really trailer two though. I don't get why they do that. Like they have the teaser trailer, then they have the official first trailer, and then they have like the Super Bowl trailer, and then official trailer two. Those are four completely separate trailers, guys. But anyways, the trailer that they showed at Comic-Con, I didn't have time to do a video on it because I was backed up in the summer, but I thought that was a really cool trailer. I like the tone they're going for with this movie. And this trailer shows us more of that. It's a cool tone. It's set in World War One. Chris Pratt and his crew, they were trying to storm the Amazonian beaches. They got their butts kick but they capture Chris Pratt and Chris Pratt tells them there's this big war happening people are predicting it's basically gonna be like the end of the world because World War One was a really big deal when it happened and I hope this movie can really illustrate that that was the war where people were like oh crap war is terrible at least that's what I got from it like you know reading all quiet on the Western Front or spark noting all quiet on the Western Front and so Diana Prince Wonder Woman she's like I want to help people Let's go help them. After that, you see some setups, some montages of fighting. You also get to see her suit, which I really like the look of that in these trailers and posters. It looks a lot better than that bronze suit that we had in Batman v Superman, which I didn't hate, but th and that could just be because everything in Batman v Superman was very drab and gray looking. But in this movie, which looks to be a little bit lighter than Batman v Superman, yeah, play up the colors on that suit, make it really yellow, red, blue. What we know Wonder Woman's suit to look like. I thought Gal Gadot did a good job in Batman v Superman. Now, granted, I don't know if the character of Wonder Woman should have been in the movie, but I thought she was good in it, so I want to see more of her backstory and it looks like you're gonna get that because she says like I used to want to help the world now I don't that was a flashback from present day to the past so I'm really interested to see because World War one like I said really destructive time and so it makes sense that she would be partnering with Ben Affleck's Batman because he has also just been thrashed by the world and so I want to see what led Diana Prince to that I want to see like why she says yeah humans are destructive and that's why I turned my back on them one thing I am curious on though is who is gonna be the villain in this movie most of the stuff that you see in this trailer is her fighting like you know tanks or people or just all man-made stuff this is Wonder Woman an Amazonian godlike warrior I want to see her go up against someone who has that same power there was a shot of that one person I don't know who that was it, the bottom of her face almost looked like she had the V for Vendetta mask on. That might be the villain, I'm not sure, but we didn't get to see a full shot of the villain in this trailer. However, I'm just gonna take it on faith that they are gonna have a cool villain in there. I don't need to see the villain. It would've been cool to see, but I don't wanna be sending like mixed signals to Warner Brothers. Like last December when they showed Doomsday in the Batman v Superman trailer, everyone was like, they showed too much. And now in this Wonder Woman trailer that they're not showing the villain, I don't wanna be like, they need to show us the villain. Because then if they do show the villain, we're all gonna be like, they showed too much again. And then Warner Brothers is just gonna be like, well, what did you guys want from us? So I kinda wanna see the villain, but Warner Brothers don't don't show the villain, just tease me with it. Overall, I thought the trailer looked really good. I want this movie to be great. However, DC has not had the greatest track record recently. I liked Man of Steel, didn't like Batman v Superman, didn't like Suicide Squad. I'm just gonna support this movie until they give me a reason not to, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Because the trailers for both Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad for the most part looked really good, and the movies just weren't, so this could be another case of that. Hopefully not though, hopefully this thing's amazing. So what did you guys think about this new Wonder Woman trailer? Comment down below, let me know what you think, let me know if you're looking forward to this movie, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other stuff, and I'll catch you guys next time.